Well, good afternoon and welcome to my cooking channel. I'm John. Today I'm going to do another vegetarian curry. This is going to be with um, uh, butter nut as the uh, hero. So the, the butternut's going to be probably get quite soft. So we've got some uh, potato in there to give it a bit more bulk and some brown lentils. Um, and for our spices we've got yellow mustard seeds, turmeric and some chili flakes. To bulk it up a bit I've got some curry paste um, as well. And we've got some onions and garlic to round it up in a bit of salt. We may need a bit of sugar, we'll just see how sweet uh, the butternut brings it out. And we're going to serve that with some uh, bread, so I haven't decided yet, uh, but definitely some rice, some basmati rice and some mango chutney, which we will endeavour to make ourselves from fresh mangoes, no less. Right, let's get on with it. Okay, now we're going to start cooking a little lug of extra virgin olive oil there. Uh, then we're going to just pop these onions in. They're quite chunky, you probably notice. Um, then we're going to put some garlic in. And then we're going to pop the best ingredient in, <laughs> um, and that's the mustard seeds because we want them to pop uh, in the oil as they're cooking. Um, a lot of people say to me, why mustard seeds? And I think when you taste it, you'll know why mustard seeds. So we're going to put a little bit of turmeric in there as well and some chilli flakes and then we're just going to let that, those onions sort of brown a bit and um, just pop some chilli flakes in there. Uh, probably about a quarter or half a teaspoon if you're adventurous and then when we put the rest of the vegetables in, we'll add the curry paste uh, and the lentils. Rightio, let's see how that goes. Well those um, mustard seeds are starting to pop a bit now, so we're going to put about three heaped teaspoons. And in case you're wondering what this is, this is uh, Patax tiki masala paste. When I first started using our uh, patex, um, they only did paste. There were no simmer sauces, no sachets, no raw ingredients. There were only paste. And I used to use them for everything. Um, and thank God they have, uh, they're still doing the pastes. Um, there's only about three of them I can find now. There's probably more in specialty shops, but um, Oh, the fragrance and the flavour. Um, I've never been disappointed in over 15 years, so that should um, <laughs> be a good uh, pointer for you. Anyway, let's get the rest of the vegetables. Um, let's get the butternut on there. And the potato. And I'll brown those. Then I will add the lentils and some coconut cream. And I think that's all actually. Might be a bit of sugar needed. Anyway, I'll come back to you soon. Right now I can see this is starting to stick a bit at the bottom. Um, and I'm going to need some liquid in there at some stage, so we're just going to put some uh, water in there 
I've had the curry paste in there for about uh, three minutes at a very high heat, so uh, that has definitely brought out the aroma. Unfortunately, you can't smell it, but I can, and it smells delicious. Rightio. Right, now it's in with the lentils. Give that a quick stir through. Um, and now we're going to add the coconut cream. Just pop that in there, like that. And then we're going to pop this with the lid on in the oven at 150 degrees for about an hour or so. We'll, we'll check it after an hour. Um, and that We'll just check the vegetables in particular because we want them to be soft um, but that is just looking superb um, while it's in the oven of course we can make our mango chutney and there you have it straight out the oven it's all ready to put together now with our roti mango chutney and rice and there you have it well normally I would stick around and and talk to you a bit and tell you a bit what, about what's happening here but the, the smell and, and everything and I'm very very hungry so I'm going to dig into this. Um, so that's uh, the uh, vegan butternut and lentil curry with some basmati rice, mango chutney and delicious roti. Alright we'll catch you on the next recipe.